Sup guys, hope you're well. Today we'll be running with an elemental druid, utilizing the recently obtained enigma. The drops in this one are amazing, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. The gear, charms, build and stats will be available for you to see. Keep in mind his strength is a little bit higher, because he gained a couple of levels recently and the enigma increased it. Normally you'd want to invest enough for the spirit shield and that's it. In the outro of this video, I'll also show you a quick run of mine, an item recap and finally a list of all the winners in the recent giveaway. Next up, a huge announcement, we've reached a milestone of 1000 subscribers. I cannot thank you enough for the immense support you provided in the past couple of weeks. The community just keeps growing and growing and it's all thanks to you. I really appreciate it. We now have a discord as well, a link to it will be available in the description. Also pinned within a comment, feel free to join and hang out, the giveaways will also always take place there. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing, as well as liking and sharing the videos with friends. Let's move forward together and build an amazing community. Without further delay, it's time to watch the highlights. Don't worry, my accuracy with Tornado improves, I was still getting used to the build at this point. On run number 2, we get the last piece that was still needed to complete the Heaven's Brethren set, Tybug's Glory. We skip to run 14 in order to loot Titan's Revenge. They are all ok with high lifesteal and above average enhanced damage. On run 22 we find a rare helm for druids, the spirit keeper. It rolls with the max possible due to druid skills, most variables actually roll quite well, except for the code absorb, that one is on the lower side. I was very happy to find this, you don't see it very often. A sick drop on run 33, you love to see it, it's a sir rune, I was thrilled to finally find another high rune after so long. I was still thinking about the sir when the RNG gods hit us with the second high rune of this session, this time it's a Rao rune, I couldn't believe it. Did I say Rao? I meant Vex, my bad. Another two runs, another useful rune drops, this time a bit lower but still nice, an um rune. We also got foul twice during this session. As well as one Po rune. On run 42 we first get a nice small charm with 6 mf, followed by a unique drop, the ghost flame. It's an interesting item that gives extra magic damage. I'll try to come up with a build that may work with this weapon. Run 45 we get a very nice base for paladins that also has a low strength requirement. It's a crown shield that gives 43 all res. Exactly 10 runs later we loot a bone flame. It rolls with excellent resistances but unfortunately only due to necro skills. On run 58, yet another rare and desirable item drops, this time we get Tau Rasha's amulet. Honestly, at this point I might just start living here. 8 runs later we get one more offhand for necromancers, this time it's a homunculus. On the following run, Diablo drops us an Ormus, the spell that we get is actually useful for a change, but the extra code damage, the worst possible. We actually got this item twice, the second one rolled with perfect coat and light damage, but once again not the right spell. The only unique ring drops on run 69, no pleasant surprises here, it's a dwarf star. Next the first and last unique amulet of the session, I present to you the destroyer of all hope, more evil than Diablo and Bale combined. Run 83, we first loot a hail rack. And then a low geats on our way to Diablo. An ogre axe with nice damage drops next, on run 85. Non ethereal though. 
We wrap things up with a rare helm that is great for boa zones. It's a giant scope. It rolled with only one socket this time. I actually found another one with two sockets some time ago, within the Chaos Sanctuary. That's it for today folks. What can I say? Amazing results. Better than I could have ever imagined. A list of all the items will be displayed on your screen, while in the background you will also have the opportunity to observe a relatively quick run of mine. I think this build is amazing, especially for this area. Of course, you are dependent on whether you have an enigma or not, but the rest of the gear is not that hard to obtain. If anyone is wondering why I don't do seal popping, I simply don't like it. Once the item recap is done, I will also post a list of the nicknames of all winners that took part in my recent giveaway. Congratulations to everyone and thank you for participating, I'm preparing another big one around Christmas, so stay tuned! Thank you for staying until the end. In the next video we'll be running the Countess. I really want to collect enough keys for at least 10 uber runs, we've got the destruction ones covered, it's time to work on the remaining ones now. Some of the torches will be used on my outs, so I can offer you guys more variety and run with as many classes and specs as possible, while the remaining ones shall become part of a future giveaway. It will also be interesting to see how many mid we get, who knows, some decent unique or set item might also appear. With that, we finish today's session. Stay safe and see you soon!